Hey, good to be with you. It's Peter Barless here, cardiologist. Now, I wanted to focus on today a condition that we are seeing a little bit more of and we're becoming increasingly aware of, a condition called Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. Now, we may know it as a broken heart syndrome and I often get asked about this condition and I thought I'd share with you about what it is and what does it all mean if you are diagnosed with this condition. Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is a condition that we also know as a stress-induced condition, a stress-induced cardiomyopathy. And cardiomyopathy essentially means any condition whereby the heart muscle becomes weaker. And this can be brought on by significant stress. And when I say stress, this can be an emotional stress, a bereavement, hearing some sad news, going through a major illness, but there have also been reports of happiness and elation and people winning major prizes in the lottery, then suddenly develop this condition whereby the stress or the emotional aspects of what we feel triggers off a cascade of hormone changes in our body which can affect the heart muscle. And it causes a very distinct type of condition whereby it focuses more on the front part of the heart. And when the heart becomes weaker, as we know, it's not pumping as efficiently and therefore it can cause symptoms. And those symptoms with this condition can be a presentation of chest pain and your doctor might think that you're, you are having a heart attack with a blockage in an artery. But the heart muscle can become so weak that it can stop pumping adequately, causing fluid to build up in the body, making us feel short of breath, fatigued, fluid building up in our ankles, in our legs. So again, it's an important condition to be aware of. Now it's named after some containers that were used to catch octopus in Japan and the particular design of it means that the container has this large belly part with a narrow top and that narrow top would stop the octopus from coming out. Well in fact that's exactly what happens with this condition. We get a ballooning or an enlargement of the front part of the heart that gives us that appearance like one of these containers. And that again typically happens within a short period of time, hours, days, after a significant episode of stress. We do see a few more of these cases in females than we do in males. And again, the presentation is often with shortness of breath, chest pain, fluid buildup. So how is it diagnosed? Well, we diagnose it by an electrocardiogram, so a tracing of the heart, but also an ultrasound of the heart where we actually can see how the heart muscle is contracting. If there is any suggestion of maybe another cause for this condition, such as a blockage in an artery, then we often do a test called an angiogram to confirm that the arteries are fine. And in this procedure we can also inject some contrast or dye material inside the heart muscle itself and we can actually clearly visualise that the front part of the heart becomes weaker. Now this is often managed with medication and medication is the cornerstone with this condition and of course trying to address the underlying stressful event and that is key here. But medication is very well established at helping to improve the way the heart contracts and to actually make it go back to normal function. And that's the great thing about this condition, that although it can be quite significant in causing uh, the heart muscle to become quite weak, over the course of six to eight weeks, we know that the majority of cases, the heart muscle goes back to completely normal function. So that is great news. So again, 
a short video just to highlight that this condition called stress-induced cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome or Takotsubo cardiomyopathy is a common condition. It's often transient, can happen with emotional stress, and then the heart muscle improves with medication. But it is important to have regular follow-up with your doctor and specialist to ensure that the heart muscle is improving and that there are certain medications that are very much proven to help speed up the recovery and ensure that the heart muscle remains normal. Thanks for joining me. Until the next video, bye for now.